Cushing syndrome is caused by long-term use of corticosteroid medications for chronic conditions, such as COPD. Cushing's disease is often caused by benign tumors in the pituitary or adrenal glands that stimulate increased production of glucocorticoids. In both cases, excessive cortisol levels cause widespread issues throughout the body. Cortisol usually helps maintain blood pressure, regulate blood glucose, reduce inflammation, and metabolize food into energy. Signs and symptoms of excess cortisol levels include fluid retention, hypertension, elevated blood glucose levels, abdominal obesity, excessive fat distribution around the face and back of the neck between the shoulder blades, muscle wasting and weakness, easy bruising, skin thinning with stretch marks, poor wound healing, osteoporosis, mood changes, and susceptibility to infection. Potential complications include infections due to impaired immune response, bone fractures resulting from osteoporosis, and blood clots that can cause a heart attack or stroke. Diagnosis may involve blood tests to measure cortisol levels or imaging studies to identify pituitary or adrenal tumors. An elevated cortisol level, especially when not dropping after a dexamethasone suppression test, indicates Cushing's disease. Electrolytes are also monitored for hypernatremia and hypokalemia. Treatment depends upon the cause. In cases where Cushing's syndrome is the result of medication, adjusting the dose or discontinuing the drug is explored. In cases where a tumor is causing Cushing's disease, surgery or radiation may be performed. Mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists such as spironolactone may be prescribed to help control blood pressure and manage electrolytes, and beta blockers may be prescribed to help manage blood pressure and heart rate. Lifestyle modifications, such as reduced sodium intake, regular exercise, and stress management can help manage symptoms and improve overall well-being. Nursing interventions focus on promoting fluid and electrolyte balance and providing health teaching and psychological support. Meal plans may be developed in collaboration with dietitians for weight management. Daily exercise is encouraged to improve muscle strength and bone density, as well as improve feelings of psychological well-being. Stress management and relaxation techniques are emphasized because stress can exacerbate symptoms. Nurses provide emotional support and encourage open communication to help clients cope with the chronic nature of their condition and any body image changes. Clients are also encouraged to wear medical alert bracelets and to be vigilant for symptoms indicating a need for immediate medical attention, such as significant changes in blood pressure, weight, or mood. Overarching goals of treatment involve maintaining optimal fluid and electrolyte balance, achieving a healthy weight, promoting positive body image, and preventing complications. The effectiveness of interventions is evaluated against these goals in managing this condition and improving the client's quality of life.